Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is Greg French. Today we're going to discuss Chapter 3, Part 4 of our A-plus Computer Repair Series, uh, PC uh, Repair Fundamentals. Today we're going to look at the uh, boot process, understand the boot process. Very important uh, concept to understand. A good tech will be able to do a lot of troubleshooting just using the boot process. Key learning objectives. Know how to boot a PC. Understanding post, power on self-test, real important. Understand how an operating system is loaded. Booting a computer. We have two types of booting, a hard boot, which is called a cold boot also, and a soft or warm boot. Now a hard boot would be turning the power switch on. A soft boot would be using the OS system to restart the computer. How, a soft, how do you soft boot uh, Windows XP? Uh, click your start, uh, go to uh, turn off computer and then just click restart. That would be a software restart or a warm or soft boot. Uh, choosing between a hard and soft boot. Hard boots are more stressful on the machine. You have power surges when you tr first turn your power on. Uh, reasons to choose a soft boot over the hard boot. Less stressful on the machine. You don't get that power surge. Also uh, it's a little faster because it skips uh, some of the initial steps that are performed with the hard boot, a little faster. Uh, some computers have a soft and hard boot uh, power switches. Soft uh, power switch shuts down and restarts windows. The hard power would just be your power on and off switch. Uh, the startup BIOS controls the beginning of the boot. The startup BIOS gets a system up and running. Uh, real important to understand the BIOS. There's Software, it's not really software, we call it firmware because it's embedded in the chip. But these are instructions that help get the computer started. Four phases of the boot process. The BIOS runs what we call the power on self test, the post, and assigns systems resources to everything it finds. Systems resource might be like an IRQ, a memory setting. Everything needs IRQs, uh, memory settings, uh, ability or ways of communicating with the CPU. BIOS uh, researches or searches for and loads the OS. The OS, their operating system, configures the system and completes the loading. Applications are loaded next. Application software is loaded and then executed. We might be using a browser to get onto the internet. That could be our application. Uh, here's a little diagram that's in the book. Uh, boot step one, the ROM BIOS uh, startup program and surveys the hardware resources and needs and assign system resources to satisfy those needs. Need to really kind of understand what systems resources are and why they're assigned to each component and why those are used with the CPU to communicate. Everything has to communicate with the CPU and resources need to be assigned and then uh, the CPU knows what resource has which or which component has what resource so there won't be any conflicts. Changing the boot sequence. BIOS looks to CMOS RAM uh, to locate the operating system. Boot sequence order of drives checked for the OS. Now normally I have my computer set up so the CD-ROM is, is booted first or looked at first for an operating system and then the hard drive. That way if the hard drive isn't functioning or I want to boot a computer from a CD-ROM I can do that without having changed the BIOS. But in your BIOS, you do have a boot order. Might be floppy drive, hard drive, CD-ROM, hard drive, CD-ROM, floppy, flash drive, CD-ROM, hard drive. Any of any of those combinations, we can change that sequence. Access CMOS setup utilities when the PC is turned on. Uh, another thing, if a, if a computer won't boot to a CD-ROM, it's probably the, the the CMOS is not set up properly. Access CMOS uh, setup utilities when PC is turned on. Usually the delete key or some function key can be pressed to access your setup utility. Uh, here you have a hard drive or example of some drives. A good diagram in the book again. Uh, again showing the steps uh, where the BIOS searches for, finds the MRB, uh, and then loads uh, the operating system from the hard drive. Review. The boot process. Real important to understand what the boot process is, the power on self test. We'll be spending some more time with this so that uh, it's, it's better understood. The better the tech, uh, the better his understanding of, of how a computer boots up. 
you can sometimes just listen to a computer. Don't even have to watch what's going on. And the, you can hear the certain noises that it makes uh, during this boot process. You know if it's booting properly. If you don't hear any noises, that's a good indication that something's wrong. Uh, activities. Uh, what is this po po post? Power on self-test. I want you to discuss it. Uh, labs 3.5. Compare the needs and affordability for a system. Uh, sometimes your needs and your affordability uh, need to be balanced. Uh, you can't get everything you want, and sometimes you really don't need uh, what you think you might need. Anyway, that's the end of this uh, section. Uh, thank you very much for your time.